Well, that's our top story tonight. James Creedon is here with us in the studio now, though, because it's time for Media Watch. James, Hi, it's Laura. good to see you. It's been a while. Indeed. Uh, we're going to start right here in France. Uh, there's a lot of uh, industrial unrest on the cards. Uh, I mentioned earlier that transport workers uh, will be going on strike this week. Now, this is all about uh, the uh, new labour laws uh, that the government pushed through Parliament uh, using a little-known constitutional clause uh, just last week. Uh, what, what, what is it looking like, then, the week ahead with all of this? Well, uh, there is an attempt to buy... Uh, uh, protesters to organise and to really ratchet up those protests and take them to another level, take them to a global level. And indeed, the Nuit Debout movement or Up All Night movement, which was sparked by uh, the labour law reform, uh, is now attempting to... So it sparked by labour law reform, but then it became obviously a much broader sort of uh, movement that, uh, that took in other issues as well, other questions. Uh, I've got a question. Why do yes. people outside France care about French labour law? Well, this is a good point. And uh, <laughs> indeed, I think most of them don't. So there is an attempt to sort of rebrand it as something broader. Uh, Sputnik News, which is a Russian uh, news outfit, they are talking about it as being European rallies against austerity together. Now, so the austerity question is not really the same as the labour law reform the question. Spanish got there first with that, didn't they? They did, I think, a little bit with <laughs> Andy Niados and all of that. But uh, So how is it? I suppose the question is, is it working? Is Nuit Debout becoming mm. Global Debout? And, well, not entirely, I think, is the answer. If you look on social media, you might be fooled into thinking by certain intelligently taken photographs that it's, the movement is, is more widespread and gaining more support than it is. Here you have Nuit Debout in Rome, looking like there's quite a number of people there. Here in Barcelona, quite a number of people in the streets as well. Uh, but uh, it, it's important to point out, as our own website does, that actually in a lot of French cities there were, uh, you know, 100 people. There was a picnic in Marseille with only 20 people present. So it, it seems to be dying down. And if you look at Le Monde, um, uh, they've been looking at facts and figures, and the movement does seem to be losing steam, if you like. You can see here it's that it's big, the, the number of participants petering in the movement. Out somewhat. It's petering out, it's even if the organisers wanted to go sort of global. But, it, I mean, we, we see these movements time and again, don't we? It's about young people kind of just trying to show their frustration about being right. left out of what, what they see as being left out of the, the economy. That's um, right. And I guess those movements are becoming uh, more frequent between Occupy and Dignados, Nuit Debout, etc. Mm. And for the organisers of, uh, or some of the organisers of Nuit Debout, they're saying, look, if it sows a few seeds, uh, it'll, it'll mean that there, there's been some success, even if the movement itself is beginning to wane. So uh, there you go. We'll have okay. to wait and see. All right, now, uh, the uh, veteran French actor Gérard Depardieu yes. uh, has been making some comments about the movement. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't have any uh, he's not, concerns about losing out on He's the not known for front. being the most diplomatic of people <laughs> or kind of keeping his, uh, his comments very balanced. Uh, in any case, he, he gave an interview to Nice Matin. He's down in the south of France for the mm -hmm. Cannes Film Festival. And as the headline says here, he, 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 a coup de gueule. he kind of, you know... Uh, got very colourful in terms of his... He, he lashed out at a lot of things. So what did he say about Nuit Debout? He said, Nuit Debout, uh, it's like sitting on the toilet seat. It's the same thing. So basically, mm. Nuit Debout means up all night standing right. up. And he's saying, well, really, it's like sitting on the loo. In other words, they're not... What a lovely not image. Doing... <laughs> he's good at that, isn't he? <laughs> so they're not doing anything. He said, it's anecdotal. It's, like anecdo the... it's, it's anecdotal. Wait, what would you say? Anecdo it's anecdotal. It's symbolic. Uh, it's symbolic. And he said, people are comparing it to May 1968. Uh, what is it all going to change? In the end, we're going to f end up with the blonde. Now, by the blonde, he didn't mean... Laura Cellier, he meant <laughs> marrying the pen. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. That's the last time I'll compare you to. Oh well. Thank anyway, you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he also made some comments about the Cannes Film Festival, of which I think are quite funny. Yeah. He uh, he said it's all a big load of porn. Oh. He said you have a, a few. Porn. He's, he he said you have you know uh, stars walking up the steps. Uh, you've got a, a few women dressed in nice uh, dress, uh, dresses and everybody talking about that. He said it's just absolute porn and walking up the the steps. Uh, I don't want to participate in that. Yeah he's there and what I yeah, find yeah I was going to say he's a bit of a mixed message coming from old and general. what's funny is if you there was, there, there was there was this review by Roger Ebert the famous uh, movie reviewer for the Chicago Sun Times who died a few years ago he wrote review he wrote about um can and Depardieu back in 1989 saying uh, that uh, he was a one man festival and he was extremely <laughs> enthusiastic loved loved the whole thing uh, it, it's like a teenager he was like a teenager thrilled to have a free ticket so what happened between 1989 and 2016 
He's become a bit blasé about it all, hasn't he? <laughs> Very quickly, Bernard Kazanov, the French interior minister, he's done something strange on Twitter. Well, somebody, and it it's almost certainly wasn't Bernard Kazanov, uh, um, liked uh, an erotic image on his Twitter account. It was actually something to do with spanking. In, in any oh. case, <laughs> it's obviously embarrassing. Well, with he... all the stuff about sexism in the French parliament. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little bit embarrassing. Uh, his communications people had to had to, had to to come out and say, look... Do you think uh, that was a cheeky intern or something? Uh, it might have been, or uh, in any case, they're going to launch an investigation. But the, the, the spanking site in question that was liked, which is apparently a London-based group of discreet people who like spanking, they were delighted with the promo promotion and they tweeted here, Liberté, Égalité, Fessé, which means spank. Lovely. On that note, James, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, James Creator there. <laughs>